if if one of those players is not on a major zone or is not presenting any any opportunity lately you just need to focus on the other one where the opportunity is if there are no opportunities on both of them you it, it, it simply means you're waiting most of you you, you still have you still have, you you still cannot even wait 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 for the market to present an opportunity you can you, you can't even do that which is a complete sign of unprofessionalism you're still unprofessional in your trading uh there's still a lot a lot of a lot of a, a lot of things that, that that you don't know concerning trading because if you if you always want to be inside the market it means basically you don't know you don't know basically what you're doing right so Crash 500, uh, I don't want to go back, 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 back then. I just want to go, I just want to start from here so that you see why I'm anticip anticipating what I'm anticipating. Right, so if you if we look at structure from here, that was our swing lower high, our swing lower low was this one. We broke major structure there. After we broke, uh, let me remove this. We broke major structure here. We broke major structure here. We broke major structure here, right here, right? That was a break of major structure, which was good, which was okay. So clear, uh, nothing complicating there. That was a break of major structure, right? I I, 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 I simply put it with a big capital, capital letter B, right? Like that. So as the market kept on going down, if you if, so, so if you notice internally, as it was coming down, it never shifted this internal order flow. Up until they reached here, where it shifted. So there, where it shifted, that's your lower low, your new lower low because it's lower than that. Then the the highest point that will take out that low, that's your new lower high. In this case, it's a lower high because indeed it actually it's actually lower than that. Yet it came even all the way up there, even around up there. It was still going to be a lower high because it's lower than 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 than, than, than that one. So that one as well, it's a break of market structure as well down there right so moving on moving on now uh this is our recent swing lower high as i said right so whatever whatever things that you might use whether it's trend lines or whatever remember what i've been telling you and teaching you about trend lines lately that trend lines are not the structure. They try to define the structure, but they're not. For example, in this case, a trend line trader right now, a trend line trader in this case, they could have said the market is now in an uptrend. Yet it's not even in an uptrend because if you follow structure, this structure is still bearish. So someone could have actually told you guys that this thing is now going all the way up. It's now a bullish market. Yet it's not even a bullish market as such, but it was just a pullback of this after every break of structure, obviously they're going to pull back before the continuation, right? So that's why I always tell you, being a trend line trader, only knowing trend lines and not understanding the structure as raw as it is, you're going to experience a lot of hurdles on the market. A lot of, uh, you're going to experience a lot of challenges. So knowing trend lines alone is not going to give you uh, consistent profitability on the market because trend lines, they try to define structure, but they are not the structure. Right, so as they were coming down even here to take out this swing law, you notice that they they what they they didn't shift internal order flow. Uh, they came here, so here you can see that they they did a, a certain shift here, a certain shift of internal order flow there. So there where internal order flow was shifted, that's where you can actually see that that one is your this one. That's the law that shifted internal order flow here. Then the highest point that take, that takes out that law, that's your lower high, like that. Like this. Right? Like this, swing lower high like that. Then here, clear major break of structure like this. Like this. Right. So once you now have that, once you know, same thing here, same thing here, trend lines again, trend lines again. Look at this. Someone could have come and drawn trend lines like this or like this, whichever way, whether it's like this or whatever. But them coming to draw a trend line like this or a channel like this, telling you that 
after we broke out of a downward channel, now we are now going up. We are not going up as such. This market is still ex overall external. It's still it's still bearish. You can see it's still bearish. All these were just mini pullbacks that 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 that, that it has just been giving. So if you notice the if you notice as it is going down, the pullbacks they are getting they are getting uh I can say they are getting smaller and smaller. If you notice, uh, comparing right, let me start from let me give you this example, this one here. The broke structure here. Someone asked me in the in the VIP group there. Someone asking me about the confluence uh, behind the synthetic pairs. Then I said, for you to understand that you really need to understand the structure. If you don't understand what I'm doing right now, there's no way you can even understand the confluence or some of the some of the the common patterns that that they always present on on the synthetic pairs. So. If you notice this first pullback, the broke structure, after this break of structure, this was a pullback. This is considered as a pullback because it didn't take out that, that high. So it's a lower high. If you notice this first pullback, the size, I'm referring to the length. In terms of length, I'm also, how you can see the length, you can simply use Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. You, you, you realize that, that that first pullback there, it came to 88%. You can see 88%. Beautiful. Then the next one, take your Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. The bottom is this one. That swing low. You should notice they came to 78.6, which is good. Let's continue. You notice that this other pullback, they never, they 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 didn't even go far. They didn't even go that that far. They came to 38.2. Right, so as as they are going down and down and down, you realize that it's sort of like it's sort of like giving you a, a simple sign that momentum most probably it's bit by bit is decreasing now. The bearish momentum is decreasing. So even here, if you take it that from the top there all the way down, they also came back again to thirty eight point two. Right. So now from here to this. Swing lower low. This is a swing lower low because it shifted internal order flow. Internal order flow, I'm referring to internal structure. Internal structure, I'm simply referring to this lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, like this. Once we break that internally, that's your internal shift of it. That's internal order flow that has been shifted. Uh, it hasn't changed character, major, major character here. Yet it came to break all the way there. That was going to be a sign that we're now overall going to be bullish. The highest point that would take out this swing lower there, that's your lower high. If you notice, it's lower than that previous high. Like this. So our last break of structure is this one. And notice after every break of structure, they are always pulling back into a premium zone. If not a premium zone, but into any zone above there uh, before they continue going down. Right. So our last break of structure is this one. If they don't take out this lower high, they can this market can still continue being bearish like this. Right? It can still continue being bearish, being bearish up until I, I don't know. Up until wherever they want to go. So in this case, even trend line traders, they can even come and draw a trend line like this, right? Which is which is not an issue. Which is not an issue because they will be saying it touched, it touched, it touched. Uh, most probably it can also come to touch, which is which is which is fine, which is not an issue. Uh, same thing here to the upside. You can draw something like this, like this. So if you notice now, these trend lines that I'm drawing, I'm not using them to make any decision of entry or such. Uh, my real analysis is on the structure itself. When I'm now just placing those, I'm now just adding them. As an extra confluence, but so now looking at this simple structure like this, you can notice that this supply here, this supply, which is this one, they, they sort of like touched it, but they can still come and touch it again. So if they don't come to the supply, there's also a favorable gap that they can come and tap, but most probably they prefer those supply zones because so our buyers will be anticipating them too still continue in bearish order flow. Remember what I've taught you about 
uh, there is what we call in the mentorship class, there's what we call the law of the path of least resistance. It says that if the market if the market is is in bearish order flow or the market if it's downtrending it, it will continue being in that downtrend up until uh up until they shift that order flow so most probably when you're analyzing you must always start from the law of the path of least resistance before you even oppose because opposing that you're simply opposing momentum so your first bias must always be in line with the momentum in line with where the market is currently going so in this case the market is bearish so here, yeah, this is liquidity, meaning if you are following this simple bias here, it means it means around this demand, it can come and tap this demand because there's liquidity also here. There's liquidity here, equal laws here, which is liquidity. Liquidity there like this. Right, this is liquidity, like this. Liquidity below, liquidity above. So just looking at the daily time frame like this they can come touch then boom up down see so if you notice this first bias or this first case scenario that i'm having it's in line with the the current the current uh the current uh the current order flow or the current where where the current market momentum is the current market momentum it's bearish. You can see it's lower highs, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So this first scenario is in line with that. Then if I now want to oppose this, if I now want to oppose this, it means we, are, we, 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 we have something like, if you now want to oppose now, if you now want to oppose, it can come down here. That is if ever they now want to shift totally. If they, not, if they now want to shift totally, they'll come and change that character there. Once they change that character, they are not going to come all the way down there now. They can come somewhere around here, maybe around there, if there's any untapped demand. If there's no untapped demand, they can come to certain uh, breaker blocks around there, then continue flying high. So that scenario, it will be a scenario, a, a later case scenario, which is not in line with order flow. But mostly when you're analyzing, focus on where the market momentum is overall, especially on the on the higher time frame, the daily, the weekly, the daily, the monthly. There, the momentum that you find there, it can still continue in that momentum uh, for a very long time before shifting that. So most of your your buyers, make sure that even if you are doing predictions, make sure your predictions are are in line with the current order flow. So on the daily, we are done there. On the daily, we are done. Uh, I just went to a very unique time frame, which is the eight hour. The eight hour time frame is a very, very unique time frame that very few people talk about it, but it's a very, very good time frame as well. Very, very good time frame because it also gives you very clear, 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 clear setups and also very clear, um, very clear analysis and everything. So on the eight hour, you can see it's also, also much more clearer here. Even if you had started on the eight hour, it was also going to be clear all these uh, swing swing levels were, were also going to be, be so clear, right? So this is liquidity, as you can see, which I'm anticipating them to come and take. Then if you refine this level according to the eight hour, you realize that the untapped supply in the, on the eight hour is this one, which is which is a good thing because the eight hour, the eight hour has actually helped us to, to know the supply that they, they, they will most probably come. So, Eight hour is also showing the same same similar thing here, what which you saw on the daily, which is uh almost the same similar thing. Down here, there's a demand which is clear, major demand there, which I which which you anticipate major buys. So now, so now um if you follow internal structure now, so because this is the external structure, then this this right here which is this one. This is the internal structure here. Uh, let me tell you. This is the internal structure of the eight hour. If you follow it nicely like this, you realize that they came the first time, failed to break, second failed, failed, up until they fin finally broke, which is good. So that one, it's a change of character now. This change of character, it's a minor change of character, which I symbolize by the minor C, the minor C, which is this one. Minor change of character, which is going to facilitate 
that pullback that we want to go into that supply there, right? So them coming down this like this, their major zone which they are targeting is this one. They're targeting to come there. But as they will be coming there, remember, they don't move in a straight line. They always push, pull back, push, pull back. So as they are coming down like this, targeting this zone, I don't expect them to shift what? This. So they can still flow simply like this up until they tap into this zone. So that's a major zone of uh, where you, you are supposed to take your your major buying positions for crash 500, they must be found right here. From there, once you buy there, your target is there. If your target is there, this one you can use this as for, mark, for, for locking maximum profits, this previous high, this one. You can use that for locking profits or taking some few profits. So basically, this is this is the setup now. Setup, this is the setup. But now, remember, on the four hour, one hour, the market might not just continue dropping like that without any form of pullbacks, right? That is also another thing that you must keep in mind, right? So, um, right, on the eight hour, our structure is so clear. Very clear, even on the four hour, you realize that almost, it's almost, almost, almost a similar, similar thing. Almost a similar thing. That's why I say the eight hour is a very unique, very unique yet very, very important time frame. Very unique yet very important because it also gives you those concrete, concrete uh setups that that face very little to no manipulation at all. Right. So on the four hour. Right. So on the four hour, I have an I have a very interesting thing now. A very interesting thing. Remember, I said this is sub internal structure, which is coming down. So this sub internal structure, which is coming down, right? If you look at it, if you look at it closely, if you look at it with observative eyes, right? If you look at it with observative eyes, you realize that uh, right here. Uh, okay. So if you if you look at it, if you, you realize that this leg, this one, let me just put it in. Uh, right, that leg. If you realize this leg. As the market was going up like this, this was actually a higher low. So now they took out the higher low like this. After they took it out like that, uh, after they took it out like that, they never came back to collect any liquidity before coming down. Because remember, their agenda is to come here. But remember also now that before the market goes where it wants to go or before the institutions move price where they want to move it, they will collect all forms of liquidity. For example, in this case, you can see a lot of liquidity in form of trend lines. There's trend line liquidity. There's also liquidity, inducement liquidity that they left out. There's all, all, all kinds of liquidity that, that, that you can see, name them, there's inducement liquidity. So on the four hour now, we have something which is a, 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 a case scenario that uh, we're also looking forward to for it to happen um, because of the liquidity that is that they left out just up there and that liquidity it's also in alignment with after they changed this character the same thing that the same thing that you are looking at from a higher time frame perspective is also the same thing that you must look at on a lower time frame perspective like this for example here change character they left liquidity here inducement there so Somewhere, somewhere around these levels, which is where we are going to go down to the one hour and 30 minute, we are anticipating them to come, tap, go up. The purpose of going up is to collect this trend line liquidity alongside with this adjustment liquidity, right? Up until they come where they want to go before they go up like this. So now, By this structure, they will be respecting this four hour structure. That's a high, that's a low like that. This one is a low. Even if they come here, that will still be a lower high. So they will be still be respecting this. They will still be respecting this structure. 
Then once they come down there, that's there. That's their lower low, which is lower than this. You realize that by that time, they'll also be having something like this, which is confluence now. That's confluence now that you'll be using there. Confluence, they come, they touch, uh, which is also the zone that you're anticipating to buy. Uh, you notice that if you refine it on the four hour, it's this supply. This one was tabbed, but there's also this one, which is not tabbed, which is a good zone right there like this. So if you, that's that's the power of confluence now. So, so now this is these are the time frames that I use to most mostly. These are the time frames that you must you must be using for your main analysis. One hour, thirty minutes, fifteen minutes going down. Those are entry time frames, not analysis time frames. Your entire analysis, your major analysis must come from these higher time frames, the daily, the four hour, the eight hour. Those must give you, even if ever we had access to the weekly and the monthly, we could also go so that you see if, if you can, you find out that the details that you find on the weekly and the monthly, they will also be confluencing with what we are doing even on the daily and the four hour. They'll be confluencing and saying the same thing. Right, so that's my entire setup right now. My entire setup right now is this one. It's this one. So another minor zone. So I also have this supply here, which is this one, right? Which I also said they can also touch that one and actually go. They can actually also come and touch instead of that one, that zone. They can touch this one because there's also liquidity here. Touch this one, then go. This one will also be now confluencing with this one that was touched already. So that's also another scenario now, which is of high probability because. This supply here, it will also give them enough momentum to take price down all the way to this one. Because they would have collected liquidity, not only collected liquidity, and also manipulated a lot of people who would think maybe the market is now going up. So they would have done a lot just by just by them coming there. Because now, now if they come and take this out, it means they no longer have access to this liquidity. The long I've accessed this because now the next time that they will be coming, they will now they will now the 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 best they can do is simply use that as a breaker block, and take price all the way up there. So that's why I'm not anticipating them to break here, right? That's why I'm anticipating something like this. You will see now on the one hour and thirty minute why I'm anticipating something like this. That's why you see your clear inside change of characters which are going to facilitate this move to this supply, especially this one. You can use this as your major target. Then if it does come all the way there, which, which is where also there is a fair value gap that I'm seeing also there. There's a fair value gap around this level, which I'm seeing as well. They can also, most probably also come there because what, if they come to this one now, they know that they would have collected a lot of liquidity in the form of this inducement and also this inducement. So this one, first target, second target up there. So your 30 minute, 15 minute, all those ones you're going to use them, those are entry time frames. Most of you, the reason why you keep on experiencing losses, you are busy analyzing there. You are starting your analysis there on entry time frames, which is so, 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 so wrong. They will manipulate you so much. You see things that are not even there on 15 minute. You see a certain direction that is not even there. You see, you you might not even be able to identify where the higher time frame momentum is. Because if you don't know where the higher time frame momentum is going, most of the setups that, that you're going to construct on, on the lower time frames, they are going to be of lesser probability. They're going to be of lesser probability. So, on the one hour, if you notice this one, there's this one, right? One hour, there's actually this one. Right, which is why I said they, if they come there, so long they don't take out this, it's still a lower high. Remember, the market is not in any hurry. You are the only one who will be in a hurry for them to come all the way down there. So them doing all these cycles, they know by the time they even come down there, most of you, 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 you'd, you'd be so confused about where is the market really going? Where is the market really going? Because they are not in any hurry. So this is what I'm anticipating. Pa, pa. 
here we have a a beautiful inside change of character right so the other reason why i was saying they can also come and touch this one and, and not come all the way up there right is because of the following reason right if you if you follow if you follow the the inside structure here on one hour they broke this they broke this here they haven't broken right so let's say they want to maintain this bearish inside structure on one hour if they do want to maintain that it's okay they mustn't break this previous one so if they don't want to break that one it means there's liquidity here there's liquidity here in form of this equal highs it's also in form of this inducement here so even if they don't come up there and they come here it's still okay why is it still okay you would have made money with the move coming coming into the zone there you would have made money with the move coming up, then going down. If they do this as well, they didn't violate anything. They didn't change anything. They are still coming all the way into our zone there. So the reason why it's dropping nicely there is dropping. I'll show you the zone now, the zone of entry now. The zone of entry. So now the reason why I'm anticipating the buys is because of what is currently happening here. You can look at this. If you want to simplify everything, uh, if you just want to look, uh, especially those guys who are so lazy now to start the analysis from the higher time frame, like what I did, uh, they just come and see a break of structure. Once they see a break of structure, they see that this is inducement liquidity. There's a supply. So they're anticipating the pullback, tap into the zone, then drop. In as much as it's correct, but you don't have you don't have the overall picture now of why they, they are doing that. Why are they dropping from there? The reason why they are keeping on going to keep on dropping is because they haven't reached that higher time frame zone, which is which is something that 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 you can only re realize if ever you started your analysis from that higher time frame. So right now, it's actually almost coming into the zone. This is a clear change of character. Change of character there. They also left liquidity down here. So this concept of liquidity is a concept that it has always been there. <laughs> Just that uh, you have you have you were not you were not uh, you were not introduced to it uh, by whosoever was in charge of or whomsoever was uh, mentoring you. They didn't introduce you to the concept of liquidity, uh, which is a concept that has always been there. It's always, always, always been there. You can even go back, go back to history. You can even go back to two thousand and one, whichever time frame that you want to use. You can go back as far. So here, yeah, change of character. Uh, change of character. The, there is liquidity. Same as this one. This is inducement. You can say this is inducement. Someone can say that is inducement. Whichever way. But most probably, they are coming to... I'm going to show you this one just now. So, change of character there. They left liquidity here. So if they break this... It means they've ignored this liquidity, which is not which is not something that they they just usually do, right? To just leave out liquidity like that. So most uh, I'm anticipating something like this now. Meaning our cell entries we are going to get them around this around this region. If we don't get them there, it means we are now going all the way up. But our first lookout will be that one. Which is the only thing that 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 will be looking looking out for is, uh, for the fifteen minute and thirty minute to give us, uh, clear 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 confirmations of entry. Once we have those clear confirmations of entry, then we enter the trade. Then we enter the trade, right? So thirty minutes that that's where my clear, my clear zone of entry is on thirty minute. My clear zone of entry is there on thirty minute, which is this demand zone here. Just above that that demand zone, there is inducement, which is this first pullback that doesn't touch the the zone. So, which is where I'm anticipating us to buy crash five hundred. We buy there. Our target can be this supply here, right? We can hold as far as there. So, if it comes and takes out this first previous high. Those are that's where I put my partial profits uh, thing there. 
those are moments where you must find yourself locking profits or closing some and holding some. Shift, make sure that you have shifted already your stop losses to break even. So there, right here, that's where I'm anticipating our entry there. Right there. Our buy entries, then right there. Uh, our sell, if it doesn't sell there, it's going to sell uh, right here on this one. On this one, right, on this supply here. They, remember what I said, they would have collected a lot of liquidity there. So, but so far, our targets are still within this within this range. We broke structure to the left. Uh, we changed character inside, we left liquidity. We are simply coming back to collect the liquidity before we continue. That's the overall summary of what is currently happening right now. Cur what is currently happening right now and what is currently being expected right now. The overall summary is we broke structure here. After we broke that structure to the left, we broke structure. So even if you want to look at it from what I was explaining, whereby you are able to identify the proper, the proper, the proper swing levels. Even if you want to look at it from that perspective, you realize the same thing. Like here, swing lower high. This one is a lower low because it shifted internal order flow like that. Then coming down, this one is a lower low because it shifted what? This internal order flow like this. Then this one is not yet a, we can't say it's a lower high as yet because it hasn't taken out this low. So once they come and do this, fail to break, go up, give us that, and which that, if it comes to take out this, that's going to be our lower high because it's lower than that. So you see, it's it's almost the same thing that I, I've been explaining on, on a higher time frame, which I'm just showing you now on a 30 minute time frame. So the, the, the danger now, personally, I can, I'm able to even do my overall entire analysis even on a 15 minute or 30 minute time frame. But for someone now who is new, who hasn't fully understood market structure or fully, fully how the market or what I call the institutional price cycle, if you don't understand that, it might be hard for you now to simply start there. Because if you start there, you you miss out on a whole lot of details that you, you, you would have gotten had you started all the way from the highest time frame, all the way coming down. So right here, that's where we're going to buy our crash of 100. Hold all the way to the top like that. From there, I'm expecting a drop there. Because once it breaks the year now, it means it has shifted to this. But if it doesn't break, it's still going to keep on coming down. So by the time it gets there, you realize that people don't understand structure. They will take this one as a change of character. This one. Once you take that one as a change of character, they will come. Once the market comes here, you're going to buy hard. As you buy again, they will take you out. So that's where now understanding comes in. Understanding. Do you really understand what, what is this? What is that? This is the lower high, lower low, lower low there. We don't have a lower high as yet because this level hasn't been broken. If it's broken, we'll take the previous highest point. Highest point that took out, took out that low, which, which we don't have as yet. You can see there's still liquidity that, that is there. There's still an untapped supply up there. By the time they get to that supply, most people think that crash 500 is now going up. Yet it's not even going up. That's why the, the higher time frame analysis is so, so, so important because it will show you a lot of things that these lower time frames might not even be able to show you. So this is the entire setup, entire analysis. In around an hour or two, in an hour or two, crash 500 will be on the zone there. Uh, I'm anticipating everyone to buy wait for the market to tap into the zone. Once it taps into the zone, wait for 15 minutes and 30 minutes to reject and close above the zone. Wait for 15 minutes and 30 minutes to close above the zone. Once it closes above the zone, you can enter your trade. Stop loss, just put it just a little below these, 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 these candlestick, uh, these wicks there. So you can put it just a little below, a little below. You are giving it room to breathe. You'll be giving it room to breathe because sometimes they can come and wipe this, wipe that close above, then they go. So, once they come to the zone, wait for a rejection, close above, then boom, you enter the buys, you hold all the way to the upside. Then, so this is a very beautiful analysis, very beautiful analysis. I, 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 I at first I wanted to just analyze it with the guys there in the VIP group and the mentorship class alone, but um, you know, you can sometimes you can't help it if ever your heart is really uh. 
is really concerned about uh, the well-being of others. Sometimes you can't really help it, but just to make sure that someone has been enlightened. I know most of you, you really wish to make money, but all you lack now is understanding and proper knowledge on the market. So this is what we are giving you right now. Cash 500, that's the setup. So you notice it's the same setup that you saw on my other chart, which I said I didn't want to delete. So that I didn't want to delete it. I just wanted to maintain it. That's why I didn't delete it. It's the same thing, which is here. Same thing. Same thing that is here. Ta. Same thing. Same, 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 same thing. Same thing. That's the law there. This one is the law. So if they come now and take out this, it means uh, they would have collected liquidity, inducement, and all sorts of liquidity. Then if they come to this one, which is where I said they can actually come to there. If they come there, it's still okay. It's still okay. It's still okay. So the most important <clears throat> important thing is it will go, if it take out, takes out this, by by the time it takes out this, you must have, you must you must have logged some profits, logged profits either below here or below any breaker breaker block. For example, this is the, this will be the breaker block. So if you want to log profits, you can even log just below the zone because they can come nicely bounce pa 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 then drop. So it's a very very interesting 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 setup. Very, very interesting setup. Very, very interesting setup. Right. Let's move on to the last one, which is step index. Are you guys here? Do you understand? <laughs> Are we still together? Yeah, we're together. <laughs> Not the last time, the last time that we did the session, we found out that people... People were now everyone was asleep during the <laughs> during the session. And you thought you had, you thought people were people are still up. And people are now sleeping. And they sleep while it's on the on the on the zoom, which is crazy. Uh, 42 people are here, but only one person responded. You guys are you still are you still are you still here? <laughs> So far now, how, how, how people they like? Uh, how can you sleep when when a very important session like this is 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 being shared? When very important knowledge like this is being shared, how do you how do you how do you find sleep? Like how do you really find sleep? Let me let me read let me read the chat box there. Others are chatting now. I'm here. You are together. Yes. Uh, we are still we still breathing. <laughs> Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes, we are. We are still up. Wonderful, still here. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Right, step index. The famous step index. The famous step index. Let let us break it down. Let us break it down. Let us break it down. So the most important thing is for you to understand structure. Here they failed to close above here, which was the previous lower high. That one. They didn't close above. They just came, did all sorts of weak rejections, but failed to close above. That was a lower low shifted internally. Then from there, the highest point that took this out is that one. This one. Right? So if you are to draw just a daily structure for step index, you would draw something like this. That's the break of structure down there major break of structure and after that we anticipate a very major pullback before we continue. So there you'll be applying the law of path of least resistance because you're, you're simply obeying the current order flow. The current order, order flow there is bearish right? Bearish overall. I'm referring to overall, overall external order flow. Break of structure there like this. So if, if you're asked to draw something like the overall daily set up for step index right you draw something like this these are, these are the external levels external swing lower highs that one right this one is the internal structure 
the internal structure that was the high low high low uh, so if you follow internal structure as well there are other levels that are not the proper ones which which most of you guys you know you you misdraw them now because of a lack of understanding i want you to follow my inside my inside my inside levels you realize where most of you you even have mistakes in terms of uh, plotting those inside inside structure so this is my inside structure that's my high that's my low that's my low which which broke this sub internal structure that's my lower high which broke this low this one is not my lower high this one is not my lower high this is not my lower high the minute you say <laughs> The minute you say this is your lower high, like this one, it means once we break the, we have what? We've changed character. And once we've done that, you, what you're going to do, you're going to buy hard on this demand. Notice what happened. You buy hard, whom they take you out, which is a lack of understanding. I'm simply saying here, they shifted internal order flow. Hey, Le, who is this now? Guys, stop, stop, stop writing on my screen. Uh, why did I even... Stop writing on my screen there. You're writing. Uh, all right. Please let me remove this. Right. Right. So this is the correct structure now. Here. As I was explaining, that, that is a shift of internal order flow. It doesn't mean that this market is now going up, 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 up. Right? It's just a shift of internal order flow. Then it came. Same as this one. That's not a lower high. That's not a lower high. Even if it came and broke this, that was a shift of internal. Same thing here up until they came and took out this law. Right? After taking out that law, they did whatever what, what they did what, what they know how to do best. So if you notice, every time they took out the law, like here, they would come back and take out this, and shift internal order flow. Let me put an arrow where they shifted internal order flow. Shift internal order flow here to make this a lower law, right? Same thing here. If they were coming down, where did they finally shift? They shifted it here. After the break of structure, notice after the break of structure, after the break of structure came to shift. After the break of structure came to shift. After the break of structure here, they also came to shift. Did they manage to shift here? Let me see. Did they manage to shift here? Right. They sort of like, they sort of like managed to shift. Right. So if it's like this now. If it's like this, which is a good thing, that was the break of structure, which was also near the major break of structure, which is good. So your first bias, remember what I've told you, according to the law of path of least resistance, you must always focus on where the momentum, you know, momentum is what? Momentum is bearish. The lower low, the lower high. Right? We broke here, lower low, lower high, like this. So already we have our bearish order flow internal, which is clear. And externally, we are also bearish, right? So, as they'll be going down like that, they will be generating liquidity with that internal order flow. Continuous internal order flow, they'll be generating liquidity, right? So, they'll be generating trend line liquidity as well as, because externally now, even if they come, even if they come, mm, let me mark an external an external level where 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 they will most probably come to. That's an extreme supply below it. There's inducement. There's liquidity in form of inducement. Someone can also mark this one, but this one there's also inducement, which is okay. This one someone can also mark this one. Most probably they like that one because they know that they would have collected a lot, a whole lot of this one. I'm not marking this one because this is an inducement of the supply. This one is an inducement of the supply. This one is an inducement of the supply. So supply, most of your supply zones make sure that they do have. So if they're going to respect our institutional price cycle, which is 
what they usually do after breaking structure like this. Uh, after breaking major structure, I'm looking. I'm I'm talking about external. I'm talking about the external the external things here. I'm talking about the external the external things. Mm, right. After breaking that major external structure, the same thing that I've taught you, break major structure, pull back, premium, continue. Simple, so simple like that. So after breaking, the reason why you're anticipating that major pullback is because of that major break. If the major break hasn't happened, the pullbacks, that, the only pullbacks that you have are pullbacks that are going to be within the, the inside structure. The inside structure, in this case, it was this one. They will be limited to that. Same thing, even after breaking this structure like this, the only pull back to very small zones inside here. Even here after breaking structure, they did a small pull back. Same thing here. So if you notice the pull backs, as I said, the same thing that I showed you on Crash 500. How do you know that the momentum is decreasing bit by bit? When they pull backs, they are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. That's how you know that the momentum bit by bit is fading out. So our first just our first inside lookout, our first inside uh inside inside level or inside focus, right? Which is where we are focusing currently. The range that you're currently fo focusing on. You're focusing on this lower high, lower low there, right? This is your current range that you're looking at. Everything else, it's still there, still valid, but for the moment, you're simply focusing on this one, right? Once you do this, it means if we are going to continue selling, if we're going to continue selling, uh, I can see this supply here. We can come to this supply, then drop. That's a simple bias because we broke structure, pull back, then we continue. That's a simple, simple bias. So on the daily, we have exhausted almost most of the information. So going down to the eight hour, eight hour time frame, you'll see almost a similar thing. You see almost a similar similar thing, almost a similar thing on the eight hour, but you find much better refined zones because on the eight hour you realize this is the supply here, extreme supply. Because remember here you'll be following the law of path of this. Once you see them taking out this lower high, know that they are going now to those other levels that I marked, which are these ones. Once they take out this, once they come take out that. They can give you a pullback before they continue going up, 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 up there to those up upper levels that I showed you. So the reason why this supply is of lower probability because above it there's inducement liquidity. That's why they can simply come to that one, give you a slight pullback, a slight just to trigger most people in, trigger people in, come to this breaker block. Bounce should should take out all these people. Collect this inducement if they want to. This is a setup that is an. Remember what I I told you about predictions. Your first major prediction must be in line with the current momentum before you oppose the current momentum. So this is the first major prediction that 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 I will be having. So the going up that will be our opportunity to this zone. This one, as I said, it's a minor zone that they will simply take out they take out this one that's why i don't usually sometimes i don't i don't even i don't even draw them but for the sake of some of you i would draw even even this minor 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 one. i'll even draw it even if uh, they are most probably going to use it as a breaker block break come break 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 when did they come there so eight hours the structure is clear broke we broke structure here to the left we broke structure to the left we broke structure to the left both internal and external structure, we broke it. After we broke it like that, which is like this, we are now anticipating a pullback before a continuation. Simple, simple explanation. So this is the that that is your full entire analysis there, right? So four hour, I'm simply going there to refine my analysis, refine my setup, refine my structure. Mm, remember what I told you: one hour, thirty minute, going down there. Just so simply enter time frame. So here. Mm, that is our zone. You see here they tapped around the eight hour. They didn't tap, which is fine, which is fine, which is fine, which is fine. Both they can still come and tap it. 
uh, here let's also refine this one this one is this one then here if you want to refine is this one so still okay still okay still okay still okay nothing much nothing much no difference so here trend line traders they'll always be trapped because they have something like this now they've drawn their trend line they are busy jumping in right now let me show you now how they are going to be massacred if they are not if they don't know what they are doing they don't know structure most of these guys they only know trend line which is not the real structure it tries to define structure but it's not the real structure so if you notice now internally this law was taken out this law what took out this law was this high which is where i have a change of character there change of character is there to facilitate this pullback that we are anticipating ba, 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 ba. right so for that pullback to happen internal order flow must shift here or internal structure i mean must shift before they do that so that's the change of character there if you go to the one hour that's where you get a very clear beautiful entry zone very clear beautiful entry zone trend line traders trend line traders those ones are those ones are are, are very uh being used as victims every single day every single day that's the supply here that's the supply there right change of character we just clear that one that's the clear change of character clear demand which is here then if you go down to 30 minutes you, you you right so this is the clear demand on the one hour clear demand so trend line traders they will also be trapped in this way whereby if it continues up which is still fine even if it continues going up to the supply right so it can even come back inside the trend line then go back outside again already by the time it comes back inside people are busy selling hard then comes back and takes takes them out again so i'm anticipating very good good buys from this one hour demand there one hour demand there. if you go to 30 minute you actually see that the zone on 30 minute let's see if ever there is uh, a refined zone on 30 minute there's actually a refined zone which is here right that's a better better one like this ah this one is okay that one's okay because there's imbalance there's an imbalance here so meaning this one is still okay as well so that's where i'm anticipating swing buys on step index there swing buys that's why i say this one is still far from the zone but we, get, we are still patient to wait for it even if it comes tomorrow or day after tomorrow we are still so patient that's that would be a first target next target is this one third target is there the top there the top which is that extreme supply which even if you want to refine on 30 minutes you can refine it at this level much more clear now so you can even buy and hold all the way to that upside so step index this is the current setup current setup change of character clear all i now want is a pull back down pull back down 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 down, 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 down. down before we go up so that's our next major opportunity on step index that's our next major 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 opportunity on step index so i think i've uh those are the two major setup that i wanted to share 